Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share some tips and advice within their industry. And today I'm happy to have Don and Don, welcome to the show. Thanks very much. Yeah. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Okay. My name is Don Byrne and I'm one of the owners of Piedmont Pine Coffins. That's a local business here in Chatham County. And um, we make simple pine box coffins for green burial. And we also um, are advocates for green burial, helping families reclaim that right, um, that powerful right of burying their own dead. Okay. So let's get right into it. What, what, uh, it, or how is green burial different than what we're typically used to? Well, Jeff, what we're, what we're used to um, in the modern day is what I call contemporary funerals. And the contemporary funerals include things like the hearse, um, the manicured lawns at a cemetery, and embalming. Um, green burial, on the other hand, is um, it's, it's actually a return to the way we used to do things, um, dust to dust, so to speak, the old-fashioned practices. So the big three, you might say, or the holy trinity of green burial would be um, no embalming, uh, a biodegradable coffin or casket, and finally contact with the ground. So in a green funeral, um, there will be no vault. In other words, there's no concrete vault enclosing that coffin. Um, the body would not be embalmed. It would be buried very quickly. And, and thirdly, there would be contact with the soil. Um, some people for a green burial um, will actually invert that vault on top of the coffin so that the coffin can be in touch with the ground. Dust to dust, as they say. Wow, interesting. Okay, so uh, what are some myths people have about uh, planning a funeral? Okay, um, Jeff, the biggest one I get, people walk up to me um, when they see I'm with Pine, Piedmont Pine Coffins, and they'll say, hey, uh, that's illegal, right? You can't do that anymore. Um, not true. Um, you can be buried in a, in a simple pine box these days. In fact, you can, you can buy one from me, you can buy one from uh, a major retailer, you can buy one online, and uh, it's okay. The, um, the funeral rule of the Federal Trade Commission says you're protected. You can take that coffin to a funeral home and use it. Um, another big myth has to do with uh, embalming. Um, a lot of people think that that's a, it's a law. Um, there's no law that says you have to be embalmed. It's a service that's provided um, by the funeral home, but you don't have to purchase it. An alternative uh, could be uh, simply refrigeration until it's time for the burial. Okay, so when it comes with, to embalming, is that just like an upsell from a funeral home? Um, embalming, you, you could say that, Jeff. Embalming started in a, in a very honorable and noble way. It started as a way to get Civil War uh, uh, soldiers home to their families far from the front and they needed a way to preserve the bodies um, to, to, uh, to get them to their homes. Um, these days, if, you, if it's not something you're interested in, if you're a dust-to-dust -dust type of person, you do not have to purchase that. Okay, so why would somebody want, in these days, need to have their body or want to have the body embalmed? Um, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, some people um, thanks to sort of the American culture surrounding funerals and death, are hesitant to uh, countenance the idea of decay. And so they, they opt for, for embalming. Um, but many religious traditions are, are, are perfectly in line with the idea of a body returning naturally to the earth. Okay. So the way I understand it, cremation is, is kind of growing in popularity these days. Is, is, creation, is cremation considered green? Um, well, First of all, let me just say, I, I don't want to make the mistake of um, saying there's anything deficient about however a family wants to honor their dead at the end of their life, whether that's cremation, um, an expensive casket, green burial, whatever. Um, human beings on this planet have for thousands of years, we've been honoring our dead with expensive, expensive resources poured into the ground. Um, back in you could say back in King Tut's day, we called those things uh, grave goods or treasures. Um, so it's, it's, it's absolutely uh, up to a family's wishes. As a green burial advocate, what I'd like to do is, is push the conversation towards sustainability. Um, I'd like to push it greener. And if there's one place where cremation gets dinged a little bit, it's energy. Um, it takes a lot, of, a lot of energy to incinerate a body. Uh, 
20 gallons of gasoline on average. And at current rates, which as you said are growing, that's about 20 million gallons of gasoline per year in America. Um, one final note about cremation though, it, it is less green in one other way too, and that is in greenbacks. If you're talking greenbacks or money, a lot of families um, like the, the price tag. Cremation can be uh, as, as low as $1,000. That's a very simple and dignified burial, and um, that's, uh, that's one way where cremation really carries the day. Okay, so I just want to back up a little bit. So it, they actually use gasoline to incinerate the bodies, or...? Great question. No, it, they use they use other fuels, probably um, propane or some type of some type of fossil fuel, not gasoline. But it's the energy equivalent of burning that amount of gasoline. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Well, thank you for clarifying that. Sure. All right. And Don, thanks for coming in today. And if any of you out there are interested in continuing the conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. And if you would like to uh, speak with Don and uh, learn more about his company, check out his website at the end of this this video. That's all I have for this week. Until next time, take care.